Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, fellow siblings in Christ. Hope all is well with each and every single one of you guys. Originally, I was going to do this as a live video, but I want to make sure every bit of this is expressed before anybody else got something to say. May the Lord have complete dominion. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord has complete dominion over this video. In Jesus' name. My Lord, <clears throat> the following video, if the world wants to sit in, fine. I'm cool with that. But really, I'm not talking to you strictly on this basis. I know that you're going to do what you want to do. But my prayer is that before you come and do what you're going to do, I pray that you hear this message in full. Really, this message is for the Christian. It's for the ones who are professing that they follow Jesus Christ. The world's going to be the world, but we as Christians are supposed to be standing out as peculiar people. We're supposed to be able to stand out as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. We're supposed to be standing out as people who love God completely and totally, being fully dedicated unto the Lord not giving any part of ourselves to the devil. Jesus gave himself on the cross so that we can be saved, so that we can be redeemed, we can be set free, we can be walking in Christ, we can receive salvation as we are reunited with our Father through the act of our Lord. But what's so sad, ladies and gentlemen, is that even in this act, there are going to be people that justify learning the way of the heathen. Let's touch on this right now. It's getting ready to be Halloween real soon. Today is, well, tonight is <laughs> October 29th, 2018. It's not that far before Samhain or Samhain starts up, which is the origin of Halloween and all this witchcraft and devil worship and Things that are completely and totally demonic go on. And yet, you're going to have those who say that they follow Jesus Christ. And yet, by their actions, the Lord would reject them upon the day of judgment. If the day of judgment was right now. The Lord has it written in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. About abstaining from all appearances of evil. Don't even look like evil. It says in 1 John 2 about be not of this world. Don't do what the world does. Love not the world, neither the things of this world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Psalm 101 verse 3 speaks of not putting our eyes, not putting our focus upon anything that's not of God. I'm making sure I get all these scriptures drilled in. Because this message is for the Christian. Do you say that you're a Christian and mean it? How do you say that you're Christian and you partake in things of demonic nature? And before somebody go, well, Christmas is pagan. Yes, it is. Let's be honest. Yes, it is. Easter is pagan. You can worship the Lord and be grateful for the Lord's birth death and resurrection any time of the year but we're gonna focus on halloween because there's so many traditions that are rooted in halloween i did a video last year about the halloween about its origins i'll even put a link in this video to take you right to when i did it there are so many things that are out here that you can get, grasp a hold of that tells you what is not of God. There's so many things that if you really seek the Lord and ask the Holy Ghost to give you the full understanding of it, that the Lord would lead you away from Halloween and every bit of his traditions. Even when people try to justify it, as I'm adjusting this camera, even when people try to justify it, by saying, oh, we do trunk or tree. We don't dress up. We don't do if you are doing anything that remotely smells like Halloween, you're still honoring the devil's holiday. 
You have witches and warlocks that have prepared for this day. You have Satan worshipers that have prepared for this day. This is their thing. They can't wait for this. They are excited to do all this wicked stuff. To cast spells upon the body of Christ. To cast spells upon those who are lukewarm. To cast spells upon children. And lead them away from you. Lead them away from God. Lead them away from holiness so that they can become disciples of the devil. And yet people will still say, well, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Have you not read in Proverbs 14, excuse me, Proverbs 12, 6, excuse me for that, about training a child in the way they shall go, and they shall never depart from it. And while I'm bringing up Proverbs 14, thank you, Lord, Proverbs 14, 12, there is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So you're thinking you're right being involved in Halloween, being involved in the bombing of apples, watching scary movies, going to haunted houses, having people scare you. My Lord, how does it look if you're supposed to be of the body of Christ? You're supposed to be the bride of Christ. But one day after the year, you choose to, do, to commit adultery. One day after the year, you choose to cheat on the Lord. One day after the year, you choose to thumb your nose at God so that you can kiss the devil. And then the very next day, think you're okay. Not realizing that with all these traditions, all this wickedness, all this demonic activity, you are opening the door wide to let the devil walk in. To let generational curses start up. Or generational curses get crunk up higher. Or to allow any kind of demonic activity into your house. You're wondering why you're feeling sleep paralysis. You're wondering why you're getting violated in your sleep. You're wondering why your kids are waking up screaming in the middle of the night. You wonder why there's so much chaos in your life. What have you done? What have you done? What sin did you commit that left the devil to be able, that let the devil be able to walk right into your home? To let the devil right into your life? There's a reason why the Lord said, learn not the way of the heathen. The heathen hate God. The pagans hate God. And while people are saying, well, if you're going to say this is pagan, remember, Monday through Saturday, those days were named were pagan, and this is pagan, and this is pagan. So really, really you need to pay attention. Really you need to pay attention. I told you I'm addressing the body of Christ. Really you need to pay attention. How is it that you can find yourself so comfortable because this, 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 and this happened? Okay, we're just going to let roughshod happen. We're just going to let it roll on. Because Monday through Sunday is pagan. Because this holiday over here has pagan rules. Don't say a word. Let everybody have their little trick-or-treats. But then with a straight face, say that you're a watchman. With a straight face, say that you're a Christian. With a straight face, say you love Jesus. This is an admonishment and this is a warning. Siblings in the Lord, the devil loves when this happens. He loves when there are those who say that they believe in God will walk right into the hands of the devil, knowing that these things are not right. With Jesus Christ himself stand right next to us saying, go ahead and dress up like Dracula. Go ahead and talk about how many people you love seeing as monsters and goblins and ghouls and ghosts. Go ahead and dress up like Freddy Krueger. Go ahead and walk around with blood dripping all over you. Or fake blood dripping all over you. Go ahead and celebrate the same way the witches, the warlocks, the demon worshippers, the Satan worshippers, the necromancers, and all those who are enemies of God. Celebrate. Celebrate Jesus and Samhain. Celebrate Jesus and Halloween. Celebrate Jesus and the devil. Guess what? The devil is a liar. If you can find a way to justify sin, and if you can find a way to justify evil, y'all need to read Isaiah 520. 
Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Are you really a follower of Jesus Christ? Truly? While justifying things that are not of God? Halloween was never meant to be for a Christian at all. And yet Anton LaVey, one of the most well-known Satanists of all time, was talking about, and I'm going to paraphrase because I don't remember the exact quote. I'm glad that parents allow their children to celebrate wickedness one day out of the year. How can you be comfortable knowing that a Satanist is happy when your children are indulging in the exact things that God is against? How do you find yourself comfortable knowing that a devil worshiper was so happy for your child to be in Satanism at least one time of the year? I'm pulling up the exact quote because I want to make sure that you hear this. Again, a Satan worshiper, a Satan worshiper is happy that when, happy that your child is celebrating things that are not of God. Happy that your child is indulging in the evil demonic things. I am looking at it right now. I am glad that Christian parents let their children worship the devil at least one night out of the year. Again, this is a Satan worshiper that died but before he died he said that way before he died he said that witches warlocks look forward to the time when they can enchant your children and look forward to the time they can play a play a curse on you spiritual warfare is real siblings in christ the devil is playing for keeps there's too many of us who are playing patty cake with sin while the devil is swinging for your neck. And I I know y'all looking like, why is it coming so strong? Because this is serious business, ladies and gentlemen. One day we're all going to have to give an account for the lives that we lived. One day the Lord is going to revisit every part of our lives. The good, the bad, the ugly. And would you rather have the Lord revisit your life knowing that you were obedient to God and you were striving for holiness? Or would you rather explain to the Lord why you allowed your child to indulge in Halloween and why you indulge in Halloween? How do you explain that to the sinless, perfect Lamb of God who looks, who's going to look you straight in the eye and as you think about what he did for you, how do you explain to him that what he did wasn't good enough? Because when we indulge in the things that are not of God, look at that in scripture where the Lord says, basically, where it's written in the word. When we go into sin, when we do things that are not of God, we are crucifying him of flesh. We're crucifying him again. My Lord and Savior only had to be crucified once. And it grieves me. To think that whatever I did could make it seem like I need to put him right back on the cross. When really I'm the one that deserved to be crucified. I'm the one that deserved to die and go to hell. And without Jesus Christ, that's exactly where I would go. If you are a true follower of the Lord, you need to pay attention. Jesus is coming for a sinless bride. He's coming for his child. He's coming for his children. He's coming for those who are willing to be obedient to his word. How many of us are truly serious about God? There's going to be some I know that's going to look at this video, shake their head. Some might defriend me. Might, maybe some unfollow me. Some might unsubscribe. Blood's off my hands regardless. Because it's not about how many people I can get to follow me. It's about how many folks I would love to see come to Christ. Even if it's just one. By you hearing this video, blood is off my hands. Blood is off my hands. And I say this out of the love of the Lord. Turn away from Halloween. Turn away from Samhain. Turn away from the traditions of the world. Learn not the way of the heathen. Pick up your Bible. Pick up your cross. Carry your cross. Put on the armor of God. 
Be covered in the blood of Jesus. Ask the Lord to fill you or fill you more with the Holy Ghost. Bless, bless the name of the Lord. Ask him to bless you with more of his wisdom, knowledge, and, and understanding. Seek him. Repent of your sin and seek him. Because Jesus is the door to salvation. But if you refuse to walk through, there is a door that is evil, that is wicked, and will lead you straight down the path to hell. Go towards the door that leads to salvation. Not the wide, broad way that leads to destruction. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Think on these things. Say no to Halloween. Say yes to Jesus. God bless.